Saudi Arabia has promised to retaliate if sanctions are leveled against it, a threat that Donald Trump seems to have taken to heart. As the world's largest oil exporter, Riyadh could send prices soaring if it decides to cut production. But the Saudi kingdom actually has less clout in the U.S. economy than in the past. In 2003, it was the country's largest supplier of petroleum, but it made up less than 12 percent of imports last year. As fracking and renewables increase the United States' domestic energy production. With its vast oil fields to protect, though, and an ongoing war in Yemen, Saudi Arabia is also the world's largest arms importer in terms of value. And more than half of its imports come from the US. Last year, Trump claimed to have signed a $110 billion defense deal with Riyadh. And US manufacturers who stand to benefit have reportedly expressed concerns about the impact of a freeze. But for the U.S. economy as a whole, arms sales to Saudi Arabia make up just 0.1 percent of its worldwide exports. That doesn't mean sanctions wouldn't hurt either side, though. Saudi government money flows into many American companies, including Silicon Valley startups, as well as U.S. universities and think tanks. Riyadh, meanwhile, is looking for more foreign investment in order to diversify its economy away from oil and address a high unemployment rate.